Hey everyone, welcome to uh, another video. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a XR gate using multiplexers or only muxes. So the muxes we will be using here are obviously the most popular two is to one muxes, and uh, we will be using these two is to one muxes to make an XR gate. So let's start by uh, introducing an XR gate. So this is basically an XR gate, and an XR gate will have uh, two inputs. Uh, two input XR gate will have two inputs. And the output will be um, uh, written by A bar B plus B bar A. So this is going to be the output of the XR gate. So the XR gate works in one simple principle. The principle being if both of the inputs are of the same value, it will give an output of zero. And if both the outputs, uh, both the inputs are of the same value, they will be giving a, a value of zero. And if they are of a different value, they will be giving a value of one. That is why it is called as an XOR gate or an exclusive OR gate. So only exclusively when uh, the both the inputs are different, it will be giving a value of one. Now that we know what an XOR gate is, let's move to uh, actually see how to create uh, an XOR gate using them. So uh, let's uh, let me first draw a mux. Right? So uh, I have a mux here. This is going to be my mux. It has two inputs. It has a uh, select option. So uh, let's say that you know we we drew we wrote the uh, equation again. A bar B plus B bar A. This is going to be your equation, and this is what we are going to implement. And usually in muxes we have uh, um, sorry a select line and uh, a1 and a2. Let's say we have two options a1 and a2. So the equation for this mux uh, will be different, right? So this will be a1 s bar plus a2. S. So what we are going to do here is basically associate this particular equation with this equation. So how do I equate these both? I have to fix a particular variable as one of the variables here. So let's say I choose B to be the select line. So let us say, um, I, uh, we can also choose A for that matter. Let's say I choose A to be the select line. S is equal to A. So what I'm doing effectively is in this equation, I'm replacing A with S. So we'll have something like A1A plus A2A. A1A bar plus A2A. So let me just uh, tidy this up and remove this equation because we don't need it anymore. And have this equation closer to this one. So what I've done effectively here is that um, if I equate the mux equation with that of what we have here and what we need, which is a bar b plus b a bar, we can notice that uh, the a1 here can be substituted by b And the A2 here can be substituted by B bar. What happens to this equation? Uh, once you do that, you will get B A bar plus A bar, sorry, A B bar, which is the max equation. So what we are doing here effectively is uh, Replacing these input pins in the mux equation with our new values. And we have a mux, uh, which is going to act as an XR gate. So if I just tidy this up, uh, you can see here, this is going to be our XR gate. So let me just recap the logic. Uh, when A is equal to zero, we will have A bar B, because B is going to be activated when A is equal to zero. And when a is equal to 1, b bar is going to be activated. Thus, we will get the logic 
a bar b plus b a bar. Thank you. Just uh, take a look at this circuit while I pause.